Hello friends, this video on aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand the structure of carboxylic acid. So if you see the angle between carb, this, this angle is 120 degree. 120 degree. This is my carbon, this is my oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen. Also, they lie in single plane. If you see, they are lying in the same plane. Same plane, they lie in the same plane, one plane. Also, this is less electrophilic than my carbonyl group. Less electrophilic than my carbonyl group, that is my aldehydes and ketones, which we have just studied. Right? This is less electrophilic than aldehydes and ketones. Why? Because of resonance. See, I'll show you. The same compound is, see, if the same compound is stable, this is a reactant actually, right? So if it is stable by resonance, that means it will be less reactive. So let's see if it is stable. If you put the electron here, this becomes negative charge, this becomes positive charge, right? Since oxygen has the lone pair of electron here, Oxygen can easily give electrons to this guy. So what will happen? Oxygen will get the positive charge. Correct? So let's see. The first structure we get is this. O minus H. This is one structure. And now oxygen gives electron to this carbon. So oxygen gets positive charge. Since the electron flows from here to here, it gets double bond. Correct? Because the electrons are flowing from here to here and carbon oxygen is still with a negative charge and there is a H. So if you see there are three structures, one is this, one is this, one is this. So since there are three structures, this compound is stable, RCUH is stable. Since it is stable, it is not that reactive, it is less electrophilic. Correct? This carbon is less electrophilic. This carbon is less electrophilic. It is not easily attacked by nucleophile. Why? Because of resonance, this whole thing is stable. Hope you understand. See, if my reactant is stable, that means it is it will not react that much. If my product is stable, then that means the reaction will happen and my reactant is very reactive. Correct? So I have a reactant, I have a product. So if my this reactant is stable, that means the reaction won't happen. It is not reactive. If the product is stable, the reactant is less stable, the reaction will happen. That means the reactant is reactive. So here my reactant is stable because of resonance. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.